Hey guys, welcome to our Disney Plus's Mulan review. That's right, uh, it's on Disney Plus live right now for thirty dollars. On top of your service. Yeah. On top of your service. <laughs> So we decided, hey, why don't uh, we check it out? And uh, surprisingly, we got a screener of this yeah. from Disney. Perhaps our last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the last one. So uh, we're uh, going to wait for the embargo and uh -huh. put this up uh, when the embargo clears, I think, which is uh, tonight, a Thursday uh, tonight. And uh, give you our opinion of this film right now. Is it worth $30? Uh, is it worth the watch? Uh, what are our thoughts on the story of Mulan? Both from a mega fan's perspective. Both of yes. these gentlemen love Mulan. Love Super good. the animated Mulan. Yes. And from a neutral perspective, which <laughs> I barely remember the animation and wasn't amongst my favorites. Um and so you'll get some different perspectives there. So obviously, um, this is a new tale of Mulan rebooted. Um, this is a yeah. Disney is running out of ideas, so <laughs> got to do everything live <laughs> action. Everything live action. Live action. They're doing all their original uh, animated films yeah. in live action, and basically, uh, the story of Mulan is just you know about a you know a woman who chooses to go against tradition and and uh, you know fight in the place of her father. Uh, the uh, the Mongols are in, invading. In the original, it was the Mongols. In this one, era, it is the hilarious uh, morons. 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 Ro I'm sorry. Rorons. Ro morons, yeah. But they're I don't understand why they changed that, but it's the Rorons, which they leads me things, to burst out laughing every time yeah. uh, they, they mention the Rorons are invading. The morons are here. Uh, what? <laughs> and so, then, what do you want me to it's do? It's like, wait it? a minute. We paid $30 to watch this thing. We're the morons. <laughs> Right, and uh, and here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, when when you see the first uh, Rorons attack, there's like seven more there's, Rorons. There's seven morons. Seven morons invading. Uh, please help us. Uh, but eventually, it does get a little bit more epic as as the film goes along. Um, it, this one's difficult to approach because uh, you know it, it, it's it's different. Uh, here's the thing. Um, I disliked this one, uh, and I'm going to be oh honest. Oh, no. Yeah. You don't say. I'm, I'm sorry, Disney. Um, I'm sorry, uh, original Mulan fans, but I feel like uh, this one is a uh, pale pales in comparison yes. uh, to not only the animation, but other Mulan stories and other stories of, of, of female empowerment in general Yes. Uh, and, and Chinese epics in general. Uh, and and um, for, it, it just rings so hollow. It starts so poorly in Act 1. I'm looking at my watch, and we're 30 minutes in, and I'm like, I hate this. I don't like any of the characters. I don't like the movie. Like, you don't like Mulan it, in the it very beginning. It does get better. It do, definitely For me, it does get better by Act 2 and 3. It, it starts to pick up. Um, but in those acts, it, it's got so many other weird things to tell. <clears throat> uh, a side story about a witch... And I, I don't really understand what they're setting up here. You know, magic in this universe or chi, chi. in this universe. Yes. Now, um, I, I don't really – correct me if I'm wrong, but – I don't really remember, you know, a witch. No witch. There was in the no original. witch. He just had an eagle that was a scout for him. That's, That's it. That's about yeah. it. There was no uh, – no witch. The only thing that was missing from this one was uh, Lucky Cricket and Mushu. And music. But we did how have can you, How can you not include characters. Mushu? How can you not include... Well, technically, they did have Lucky. The, that oh, Cricket. Guy, there was a character named Cricket. It was supposed to be comic it. relief, but oh, none of them were I, funny. No, this was like super serious movie. None of the comedy. There was yeah. no comedy. No comedy. Zero. Zero of the jokes worked. The, the, the most that gets closest to a joke... Is when Mulan is trying to do her woman-like thing, trying to be a lady. They're dressing her up yeah, nicely with the powder matchmaking, um, and it just is not funny. It uh, rings hollow, and it's really yeah. painful to watch and get through, uh, especially when you compare it to the animation, which has such whimsical qualities to it, uh, such uh, was a perfect yeah. animation, and uh, just a great, great uh, characters. Um, unfortunately, you don't really get great characters in this version. Uh, mm -hmm. Mulan sort of 
boring, just fades Everything just into the seems film. phoned in. I actually cared more about the witch character than I did. Yeah, she was you know, interesting, at least. A lot of some of the other side characters. I think eventually, Mulan, you, you, you feel for her and you feel like, okay, this is great. Uh, she's true to herself, and you have a powerful moment uh, later on in the film, but it, it, by then it's too little too late, um, especially in comparison to some of the better Mulans that have come before. Um, uh, so let me, let me um, what did you guys think of the film? I'm going to be honest, this is not worth $30. I no, would not recommend no you guys spending way. thirty dollars on this if you want to watch it. Find some other way to watch it, but do not spend thirty dollars. Not only thirty dollars, Joe. It's oh, thirty dollars on top of the, the subscription yeah. of yeah. Disney Plus. So you're looking like at 40, 40, 50 bucks. 45 <laughs> if you don't have Disney Disney Plus. Yeah, but like it, I didn't like it. It, it was too fast paced. It didn't let me get introduced to any of the characters. So I could care less of any of the characters. Mm -hmm. Mulan was just like kind of phoned in for me. I'm just like, okay, I know her story. Yeah. Like uh, I remember some parts. I was like, oh, this is going to be a good scene. Yeah. Didn't pull it off. Yeah. yeah. Every, I, the, I, I don't know about you, Joe, but did you roll your eyes so hard at the beginning when they start Mulan as this – best at everything and she's this nine-year-old girl yes. and you're introduced to her and she's doing like gymnastics and she's like the best warrior and she's like a crouching tiger hidden dragon and no flaws no, it's like yeah. a, a Mary like, okay, Sue we're, Mulan we're going in, this in route alright yeah. yeah. let's see where this she goes she doesn't train at all doesn't train at all yeah. it, does, it, it just doesn't feel earned it feels like oh it it's gonna be one of these exactly. kinds of movies this is a movie that's trying to simultaneously be a Chinese epic a Disney movie uh, simultaneously try to please the American audience and the, the Chinese, Chinese audience, audience with none of the restrictions. So you can't have real, you can't have violence, you can't have gore, can't have uh, See, blood, real magic, no blood, no blood, none of those other things. Nope. And then it tries to do it with a PG thirteen rating. So yep. the fight scenes don't look good because they're they're hitting each other with plastic swords <laughs> yeah. and they're not connecting with anything because yep. they can't. The they have no comic relief whatsoever, nope. none. And there are three characters from the original, yep. the animated that, that are in here. And they're just not funny. No, and, and I I miss those guys. I was oh, like, I okay, I want to see. Their take on yeah, it. I do remember. I yeah, do remember and then the your what your take is? She starts off insanely powerful, right? Yep. She's flying through the air, and she's an incredible warrior. But she, then she gets the training, and then doesn't know how to shoot arrows. She doesn't know how to fight. She doesn't know how to do anything. Well, and then she doesn't. There's a purpose for that. She's, she's like, hiding her she's abilities, holding back a little bit. And then it turns out that she doesn't become the soldier because she trains the hardest, because she's smart, because she does all of the things that like people can look up to. She's just got Chinese uh, earth magic in her. Chi. Yeah, her chi is so powerful that she can fly it was a and little... she can kick arrows and spears that's her power did you know her power is kicking stuff <laughs> yes it's a, it is a little disappointing to see such a, a, a powerful moment and an original innovative moment in the in the animation where she uh, outsmarts everybody yeah, or she she uses the her brain yeah. exactly. because they imply all oh, women are stupid women you know your place and you just shut up nobody cares but she actually figures out how to do things mm -hmm. and complete these challenges through her brains but in this film, it's all about chi. Magic. She had the chi already. She's hiding the chi. Please stop hiding your chi. Oh, you're not hiding your chi? Well, you're just the same like you were before. There's no arc, really. Yeah. It's just embrace your chi and embrace who you were at the beginning of the film. And uh, hey, you're the greatest. Yes. And then they ruined a montage. Like one of the greatest montages ever. In the world. Like, I love that montage. Like, I'm, I'm serious. Isn't that that I, song? You guys sing it all the time. I love that song. Time. So, like, I'm not kidding. Like, I do really like Mulan. Mulan make is a just, man out of you. Make a man yes. out of you. Yeah. Donny Osmond and uh, Jackie Chan sings it. Uh, but, like, Mulan is a Disney princess with a five-digit kill count, and I love that. Yeah. Uh, and in this movie, like, they killed everything that I loved about it. <laughs> there, there are sequ uh. There's entire sequences of this movie that are almost silent. Yeah. There's a, almost a silent montage, and I don't know how you do it. Like, how do you fuck up a montage? I've oh, never... I, this is one of the worst montages I've it ever was. seen. It well, was. it's like the same way the same company also fucked up Mufasa dying, so it kind of makes sense. So it's like everything that they, they take from the animation okay. into into live action <laughs> they just don't get it have they not seen their own movies did it worse and and here's the, the the most surprising part is it it's not even faithful to the original animation and it does it in a different path and it does it worse yes it that's the part that's unforgivable if you take a different path that's oh, the fine. More There's path, actually right? more stories of Mulan. There's even stories of Mulan where she ends and she kills herself, mm. you know, because she's forced to become Dark. a concubine uh, and a concubine. And but so there could have been many directions that you take with a, a, a story like this from Chinese folklore. 
and to take this one and it for just to end up so flat, so boring, everything bare bones. It, when I was watching it, I felt it, everything was so clean and so processed and so uh, it rang hollow. It was it's like it, a Bollywood film, like you mentioned. This kind of looks like Bollywood, but if you took all the dance sequences out, if you took all the music yeah. out, and you took all the heart out, yeah. so you basically everything it. that makes the Bollywood yeah. films great. <laughs> And you're left with this. It's over the top. And you're Kung like, Fu. what? Ugh. So I took notes during the film because I started to get really, really I was bored. Upset. It was, it's two hours long. It is way too long. <laughs> so it funny. Is. The uh, Rorians. Rorons. More, Rorons. Rorons. The Rorons are here. The what? Uh, yeah. So, and, and so the film is at odds with itself as well. Like some of the messages uh, at the beginning of the film, it says that she is only for warriors. But that's not what actually they believe because later on when her mentor, Donnie Yen, who, by the way, Donnie Yen is probably the best part of the film. He's like the only one doing any good chor uh, fight choreography, like Donnie, yeah. right? Uh, and he's like, you know, the, the chi is in all of us and this and that. And or the narrator was saying <laughs> that. And it's like, but you just finished saying that chi is only for warriors and men can only be warriors. And so chi is only for men. And so it kind of is at, at, at odds with itself. Um, but I'm just blown away by this this witch character that, that they introduce. So you don't – I felt maybe they didn't want to put in Eddie Murphy's character, uh, you know, Mushu, Mushu, because they thought maybe it would be insulting if to that's Chinese. Yeah. That's what I read to it. Chinese people. Yeah. Um, here's the problem, though. Uh, he, he was uh, like that fantastical element in there because he's a you know, talking dragon and, you know. But so I thought, OK, they'll go realistic. But it doesn't go realistic. No. You, you've you got flying phoenixes that come out of nowhere. They don't, don't explain anything. It's just it's around. It looks like a kite and it's always there. And then OJ's like, does no one else see this thing? <laughs> right? It's like it's in the picture. What the fuck is that? Yeah, it's like, what is that thing? Nobody <laughs> brings it up. I was like. Guys. It's it's symbolic, obviously. But it's bad. Just, yes. Okay. It's not really there, but it is there. He's flying a kite. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 that doesn't make sense with what is there, which is the witch who can transform into an eagle and come out and transform into bats and do claws and, and jump and into some people and and, and, yeah. from the, and 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 it's like you include these fantastical elements, but only for the witch character, and it's in nothing else except for like maybe the fact that you that. The Mulan has chi and the chi's already in her. So there's nothing earned in mm -hmm. the film is what I'm trying to say. And the stuff that's fantastical seems a little misguided. Um, oh, for sure. And like yeah. the other thing that's like a total fantasy element is how quick everyone's motivations like completely turn around and do a complete 180. Mm -hmm. The the witch is a bad guy and then she's a good guy. And yeah, then she, exactly. She, like, that's she what I was saying. This movie is so fast paced. Oh, yeah. yeah it doesn't make on. any sense. Well, so when you said fast paced, it was like for me, it was just drudging on. It's like, please end. Yeah. Please no. end. They the had to force this witch character in here. She had a, a whole exposition scene of explaining who she is, explaining her backstory, explaining her yeah. goals and her motivations. And I thought I was taken away from Mulan. Like the the the, the guys that she's hanging out with, the camaraderie. No chemistry. No, no, banter, chemistry, no, no camaraderie. Um, one thing that I do like is they kind of keep away a little bit from the love story. They like, they do, he, he has a respect for the, the handsome guy. Oh, yeah, because the, the other one is a captain. <laughs> and the other, and the, the other one's a captain, and he's they kind of have a lovey-dovey kind of thing. Uh, they, they don't really do that here. Mm -hmm. But uh, go ahead. Yeah, and the the emperor, they they really kind of Jet Li. Jet Li. Joe didn't even recognize it was Jet Li. Yeah. I knew it was Jet. Li. Well, I didn't know it was in the trailer, but I knew it later yeah. on. <laughs> so Jet Li's character is like the mass, also the master of. And chi. he's putting on the voice. He's immediately accepting of Mulan as a warrior and as a woman at all times because at no point had the emperor ever in history did anything bad. He always respected women. A Alex, are we doing a spoiler section yeah. or do we just? That, I mean, it's a two thousand year old story. If you don't know it. I mean, plus the animation and okay, you yeah. Know All right, no, we'll we'll just throw some spoilers. <laughs> yeah, I, the the emperor accepts Mulan immediately, mm -hmm. like even before he knows. He's yeah. like, yeah, it's cool. It's totally normal. So so you so you're so implying that Donnie Yen's a dick. Uh, he doesn't really accept her at first, so he's yeah. more of a dick than the emperor. Yeah. But eventually, he comes around as well too. Yeah. 
Um, Eventually, he's like, I'm going to kill you. And he's like, never mind. You're going to lead our troops within 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> yeah. Like, literally, within 30 seconds, he's like, I'm going to cut your head off because you're a woman. Yeah. And then she goes, well, how about this? And he's like, you're right. You're going to lead my men on the... It's like, a, what, what? I believe Ulan. <laughs> There's just a lot of moments where I sort of burst out laughing. The fact that there's seven morons invade and, yeah. and then everybody is very <laughs> crazy and upset. Um, uh, the uh, She doesn't look like a man at all. Um, you know, everybody's going to shower and she's doing guard she's duty in, in the rain. for like weeks. Weeks, yeah. But the rain would have wiped off the... The mud not on the her funk. face. Yeah, maybe mm-hmm. your face would not. It's the funk. only time anyone in the movie was dirty ever. <laughs> but I'll accept that. I mean, I love Superman as a character, so Mulan's the very same way, right? Nobody can see that she's a man. Nobody can the see glasses. that Clark Kent. Yeah, the glasses. <laughs> like, I guess curl. it was her chi, Joe. Yeah, the chi was. Everybody her, right? was seeing yeah. her chi. Um, but I, the, uh, you know, you say this film's not funny, and you're right. But I burst out laughing multiple but times. You're making but let your me own tell you one. But you're making your own fun yeah. because nothing yeah. about it's funny. Let me tell you one time I burst out laughing when uh, the, they get into the battle with the ro- morons. Morons, yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and they uh, and they the the commander notices that the the cavalry is charging and uh, surprisingly oh, God, the yeah. the hero, the enemy villain uh goes off and he like runs off and his own army's like oh my god he, he's retreating and and he's a coward and so the commander says left flank Charge! You know, don't let them get away. And then it does a wide shot. And I know military tactics. I play in Total War all the fucking time. And I'm looking for the left flank to charge. And little and seven horses charge. Everybody stays At behind. Ten thousand dudes, including the left flank, stays in place. And seven, they send seven horses to charge down 12 horses of better trained men and they knows that they're better trained men it's like the fucking honor guard there and they get obliterated yeah. you know, in half a second they ride off into the shadow realm that is completely separate from the battle it's uh, a lot of plot contrivances and a lot yeah. of uh, craziness um but yeah so um i just felt that there were too many distractions and and uh and too many um, liberties, creative liberties that didn't work as well as the original. But hands down, the biggest one for me is removing the music. Yeah, taking away Just, the music. Was, was uh, taking away the music and, 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 and telling the story worse. It just rings so hollow and Chill. boring, and I just see actors, and I just see like appeasement, and <laughs> I, and it, it's really hard. It. it Eventually, in the third act, they kind of force some emotions uh, from me because it's just a great story overall mm-hmm. about, you know, uh, women empowerment and, 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 and staying true to, to yourself, your mm-hmm. bringing on to your family. So that story is always going to work when it comes into the climax, but it's just it's not as Good. Yeah, by the time you get there, you're like, uh, yeah. yeah but. So let, let's go to final verdicts now. Okay. This um, is this is big because uh, can I ask what y'all would rate first, the animation, so uh, that we can compare? A 10. <sighs> like, seriously. Yeah. yeah. And it's okay. like, without, like it, it is one of my favorite ones. Um, I think the music is incredible. The message is good. It's just like it's solid all the way through. Mm-hmm. And it's funny. Like, Eddie Murphy kills it in that movie. Like, everyone in that movie is great. And it's going to impact how I rate this. Okay, one. so 10, 10. Yeah. Me, I, I'm sorry. I don't remember it enough. I would have to rewatch it's it. It's on Disney Plus. You should watch it. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Definitely. So what would you think about this? Uh, this is going to be a four for me. Uh, like I Ouch. said before, it was fast-paced in the sense that everyone's character is a quick turnaround. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't uh, enough for me to settle in. It's like, okay, who's this character? Let me learn about this character besides Mulan. But we already know her story. Everyone else, I don't really know about. So something ha- bad happened to him. It's like, who Other the fuck than was what that? you know from the animation. Yeah, I was like, well, I don't know who itself. that was. I don't know what's going on. This is like it, kind of all over the place, but it was pretty much dead on arrival for me. For mm. I was pretty bored. Yeah. Um, for me, I think that this is. This is like that situation where if you're in charge of ordering lunch for the whole office and you have a, a rule from the boss that says you cannot order anything that one person doesn't like, and so it's by committee, right? Mm-hmm. You would order everyone 
lettuce, and that's all you get. And that's what this kind of like this, and that's what this type of movie is. So because it's right, you have you have the the people here in the United States designing and making this movie. Mm. You have people they have them trying to appease China, trying to make something that pleases their market and our market. It has to be it has to be a war movie, but it can't be too violent. It has to have Mulan at the the center, but you can't have any of the mysticism. You can't have any of the music, but you play a little bit in the background to remind you of a better music that's there. And so what you've done is you've tried to please everybody, and you end up pleasing nobody. nobody. And I this is something that. Mm. I love the original. All you do is play a couple of the, the 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 music in there. You throw me some of the characters. You make me laugh once or twice. Yes. And I probably enjoy this, but you fucked it up, and so it's bad. It is not even an average movie. It is a big budget nothing. There's burger. Alex's. You don't fuck it well, up. it's like because that's something he loves, and you don't fuck it and up. It's really, it would have been really easy to do it because it is a good story. There's a montage in it. There's war in it. There's all sorts of really cool things, and none of that worked. Don't and, don't rate it a four, Alex. Um, I, I wasn't it's gonna rate. I wasn't that. gonna rate it a four. It's is not it? average. Nope. It is not just a little below average. Like this is something that if you take into consideration the fact that they want to charge you thirty dollars plus, this is a three. Do not watch Damn. this movie <laughs> even if you have Disney Plus. Like if you have Disney Plus, don't watch this movie. It is a waste of time. Go back and watch the original. You'll have you a have good a time. time. And yeah, then, like this doesn't need sure. to be in anybody's lives. Maybe even research the original Mulan story and see all the variations. And there are grittier you know, some Mulan other movies, yeah. too. Yeah, There's Mulan. actually more mm-hmm. Chinese films that, yeah. that focus on yeah, Mulan as a character. Yeah, so um, I'm going to have to completely agree with Alex. Uh, I, I felt the film was not only a worse version that pales in comparison to what Disney has done already for the Mulan character, but the creative decisions uh, were sometimes insulting and, and just... Uh, side things that you don't need to be focusing on and yeah. just it lacks the heart and the whimsical and I, I really can't recommend this movie to anybody. Same. There are better no. Chinese films that take care of this story. There are better choreographed fight scenes. There are better visuals in, in, in battles. There are better stories of female empowerment. I'm sorry. This is just by Disney itself. Let me say that. I'll try to keep our screener. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Um, is that, you know, <laughs> Disney has time. done it, probably, uh, it better in the original Mulan. So yeah. I would watch the, or don't watch the sequel to Mulan. Uh, Mulan 2 Save doesn't exist. Your money. But uh, don't watch the remake, uh, this one, either. So uh, join us in the, uh, oh, I didn't give it a rating. Uh, three out of ten as well. Um, you know, considering how much you have to pay for it, uh, I would give it a 2 out of 10, but I do know that this is going free in December, I think. Mm. Uh, so there's really no reason for you at all, and I know the powers that be don't want us to say this, but do not spend money on this right now. Just wait for it to go free on if Disney+. If you really want to watch it. If you really yeah. want to yeah, watch it. It's not should. free, but you know, have a Disney Plus uh, subscription. Do not pay for this. Mm. Don't don't even combine don't do money with your friends because people are like, oh, Joe, shut up about thirty dollars. You, 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 it's a movie. You're supposed to bring friends over and they you can split the cons with them. and You can buy popcorn and this and that. And you don't have to do that anymore. It's like, yeah, yeah, I do. I have to buy, you know, alcohol. I have to buy popcorn, food. And I got to do all that shit anyway. And it's not worth it. And if it. you invite me over to watch new Mulan, I'm not coming over. No, I'm not, not going to give you. A unfortunately, <laughs> fans of Mulan are going to be even more upset. Uh, we are and, and mm-hmm. neutrals. I I found it completely boring, uninteresting, uh, insulting. A pale version of the short parts that I remember from the original. Uh, it's just, it's unfortunate. Dud uh, from Disney. Uh, All let's right, let's get down to business. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so take a, 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 take a journey with us in the spoiler section where we can talk about all the ridiculously dumb morons, uh, moronians, uh, Mongo- Mongolians, no, Rororians, Rorians, Rorons, Rorons, call darn it, Rorons. Why? <laughs> Why can't you call them Mongolians? Because they're, they're morons. Okay, they're Rorons. All right, guys, in the spoiler section, uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Stay tuned for the spoiler. All right, welcome to the spoilers uh, section. Um, I wanted to save, uh, you know, some of these notes for this one because I didn't know how much. So, so it's like, um. <laughs> 
It's just so funny that the, the, the first attack scene is seven guys on horseback attacking this castle. It's a heavily fortified castle with archers on the walls. And at no point do the archers fire at all. Just we want arrow. Run. Oh, that's he right. Caught he, he, ca caught he catches it, it and right. shoots it back. Right. But then, then they're already on the wall. So one guy fires one arrow to, in a <laughs> fucking know. invasion. Well, and and seven guys the and witch. then we laughed so much because the rest of it is like the the kingdom is literally fucking freaking out and you're wondering yourself why Just, there's seven dudes there's seven dudes uh now later on you get more yeah, but later Rorians. on but i'm like there's seven guys i know but yeah. it made it too keep, keep too firing guys. uh more more things here too clean fight archers don't fire monty python situation because they must have just been sitting there watching these guys like on charge the, for okay, a charge long time. For a long time. I was thinking time. too, it was like, look, you Before shot him. Like, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, it's like, look, you shot him, he caught it. He's got two hands. Fire three times. Fire three arrows. What's he going to do? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> There's like 20 archers, and there should be more. Anyways, um, Jet Li puts on that ridiculous emperor voice. Yeah. Exposition scene about the evil witch went on too long and just made me roll my eyes. It it's been a long time since I've seen Mulan, but was there a witch? I'm forgetting. Mm -hmm. You guys already said that. Um, it, it, they, here's another thing. Especially when Mulan is doing, uh, they're dressing her up, they're powdering up. You know, this is. It, the matchmaker it feels, thing. the matchmaker scene, it feels so much like a made for TV movie uh, with the way it's filmed and the shots awkward. are very static and awkward, having no momentum. That you notice that the score overpowers the film. It, it's scored like an animation, like the scene should be like. Woo, da, 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 yeah. da, da. <laughs> But it never actually lives up to all the little chord strikes that that's happening in the then in the film. This is definitely in the first twenty shit. minutes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then you have the a spider teacup scene, which is supposed to be the funniest thing ever, and we were just like, "What the fuck?" Like her sister, who she doesn't have a sister in the original. No, right? she's Dude, there's a dog named Little Brother. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but the sister, she does want to be like a match made match. Yeah, and, and then and she's terrified. Of and spiders. she's trying to be ladylike. And, and so Mulan does the, the nice sisterly thing to try to kill the spider for it, uh, for her. And then and then the lady's like, no, the teacup must be in the middle of the table. And she's like, no, I think it looks better there. <laughs> it's like <laughs> old woman's <laughs> never seen a spider before. Right. So it's funny. It is funny if you're if you're a writer and you no. want to write something no, bad it's like not this. Funny. Um, it's funny when the character does it because they're clumsy, right? And you can. But if it's just like a natural disaster, like a something that looks like a horrible spider is is crawling on top of you, it's not funny. Because it's not something that you can like laugh about. It's like, no, that's a terrifying thing. Like if a spider's crawling, falling from the, the, the ceiling, we've already established it. She's terrified of spiders. It's not nope. a funny scene. Nope. What's wrong with you? Have you never watched a movie before? <laughs> and then at one point man. they burst in. We're under attack by the Rorians. Rorons. 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 And we all made the comment. We're under attack by seven Rorons. Right. Yeah, seven of them are here. Oh, no. Um, like I said, I made it, I, I checked the time. Twenty four minutes. I'm like absolutely hating it. It is like uh, not working. None of the scenes are, are working, uh, and it does eventually pick up. Um, at one point, the soldiers are saying loyal, brave, and true. This is the motto of, mm -hmm. of how to conduct yourself as a warrior. Um, and they're like, the enemy doesn't have these. Uh, but the enemy does kind of have those, at least the Rorians, because they don't want gold. They just want revenge because their their father was murdered and their family was killed. So, so in essential, you're saying that your enemy don't have these, but they do. They are loyal because they're coming over there, and they're brave because they're attacking fortified positions, yeah. and they're true to themselves because they're like, fuck you, I'm going to come kill you. <laughs> I just thought that that was funny. Uh, a spoiler for during that scene is the if you liked the when she had to climb the pole. So in the, in the animated, she gets – there's a, a big stone weight and another big stone weight. What is it, like honor and duty or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so to it, tell them first, like all these men can't hold the two buckets it's of water. It's buckets full of water and they have to carry it to the top of the they hill. So instead of climbing the totem like pole and, you know, outsmart the, the, the pole that you have to climb, it's just all about delts, bro. You got sick delts. And, 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 but yeah, so she just <laughs> instead, she just, her chi 
fills her delts and she gets to carry the buckets up. I would have thought that like, you could still do something smart. She could like rig up a, 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 a counterweight device. Or just do device. the same thing. Or, yeah. <laughs> just do the goddamn same thing because it worked really right, well the they, first time. They want to do their own fucking thing and every turn they did their own fucking thing it was worse and dumb yeah. and stupid is what the point I'm trying to make. on huge delts. And then I, I, I don't remember how she because I was like okay she's going to lead the army and she's going to fight them and, and they keep saying we're outnumbered by the Rorians and I was like guys I, I don't remember how did Mulan conquered them before and it's like the avalanche mm -hmm. and so we were thinking oh they're not going to do the avalanche they're going to do their own thing so then the the battle happens the stupid little left flank thing happens it turns out that the villain went to go uh create the distraction of the battle so that he and his 12 ninjas turn into 45 ninjas later yes. on or 150 ninjas later on and attack the city um but that little engagement they uh, have the witch basically manipulate the, um, you know, the good guy Mulan's army by putting them in a shield formation by turning into bats and harassing them and then firing uh, catapults uh, or are they trebuchets? Trebuchets. Oh, uh, with flaming balls and mm -hmm. basically murdering them all. That was probably the most violent scene when you it see was. in the background. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck. But it's just shields and helmets because remember, no one right. can die no in this movie. No blood either. No, no. But you know what's going on under those <laughs> yeah, shields. Smooshed. <laughs> and so Mulan's like, oh, fuck, you know, I, I got to save them. And, and then just then she notices in the distance a mountain range with, with snow, which is nowhere near the battlefield. But suddenly it is. It's real close now. It's real close now. Yeah, I was like, just don't <laughs> Everything wait. moved oh, okay, real close. Never mind. <laughs> And so she goes, somehow teleports behind them and then does the, uh, you know, arrows. And they think it's a lot more people because she put helmets on. I don't know how the fuck she had time to do any of this. Right? I mean, she all of her chi. men are dead. Oh, she has oh, so much chi. She has so much chi. She got so much chi coming out of chi. Over, right? Chi is coming out of her chi. Uh, so finally, uh, you know, they're like, uh, turn the... the Trebuchet around and fire at the, those archers, even though like, you can't you see any of them. Idiot. <laughs> nope, they are doing idiots. it. They're doing it. Well, they it. purposefully try to make it seem like, oh, well, they're going to. I thought, well, they're going to kill themselves, right? So they fire the trebuchet, the avalanche happens, and they kill themselves. But that avalanche, not only does it kill some of the armor, it kills some kill of the, the good guys, too. Good guys, too. <laughs> um, but, you know, but I will give the film this. I should have said this in the original. There's two things that I will give the film is that. Um, She's actually like I'll, I'll give her this. She's like the first Disney princess that actually directly kills them. Oh, she kills a lot she of people. Lot. Five? She's killed like ten thousand plus Mongols. So, so not only did she do the a avalanche, right? But she did that in the animation. Uh, but she also so you could see her getting into direct fights. Of course, it's just sword slapping on them. But I'm assuming that they're dying with the fucking blood yeah. and shit. But then I, I was like, okay, but they're kind of hiding it. But no, at the end, directly. Uh, what they do is she realizes, and I'm going to skip ahead here. She goes, uh, the the main villain captures the emperor, and he's going to slowly kill him. Because well, monologue, course, you got a monologue. Got a monologue and lower him into a lava pit. I'm like, are you serious? Like, we're doing this. We're doing, like, all the tropes in the book that you can think of. Yep. Um, but I will give her this, is that, um, you know, she defeats him, and last minute, you know, he falls. But he lets off one last arrow. And, of course, Jet, she freed Jet Li enough for him to do one cool thing. Because uh, he's got chi. Because he's got chi, And rope too. magic. Remember, he does I rope do, magic. Okay, two cool things. So he catches the arrow, and then he's like, Mulan, or, or a warrior or whatever. And he throws the arrow up so that she can do a fucking butterfly kick and kick the fucking arrow into the fucking She could have just been like. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but I was like, that that was fucking badass. Like Mulan fucking murdered him and I, I enjoyed that. He went to go catch it, but it was down here because mm -hmm. her kicks are fast. Yeah. Fool. But uh, so anyway, uh, so the avalanche, let's go back to where I was in. So the avalanche happens and, happens, and then, of course, she sees her man in the avalanche. Like, this is a massive fucking mile-long avalanche, and she's riding her horse, and she manages to see the one guy she really cares about to pick him up and save. So she saves her man. Man doesn't save her. So then they they ride off. Um and uh, what else? Uh, <laughs> then, then you have she rides back to the camp, uh, or she gets separated because she chases the horse uh, horses down, and uh, the witch confronts her. I'm like, yeah. oh, this is cool. We're gonna have a cool battle. She's like in the sulfur pits or whatever the fuck. Frozen man. over sulfur pits. Frozen, you know, yellow ice and shit. Pee -pee. Um, 
And uh, the witch doesn't immediately kill her, and then it kind of makes sense because throughout the film, there's been a subplot where the main villain has been kind of a dick to the witch. He's yeah. like, "You're you're mine, and you you served me, and shut up." And if it weren't for me, I found you, and all this other stuff. So I knew right that instant when they set up that exposition scene that the witch and her are going to have a connection. And of course, she doesn't kill her. She could have outright killed her. She defeats her. Throws she a dies. throws a star. And it hits her her breast. Um, she purposely piece. breaks open her armor so she can no longer pretend to be a man. Right, and hide this her breast. This is where breasts. the phoenix comes out. Yeah, the phoenix, the She's kites float. Yeah. Now the phoenix was risen. in the whole film, the whole fucking time. There's so <laughs> many awkward camera scenes in this movie. The phoenix is in half of them, and then there's times where you're just watching, and all of a sudden a character's like upside down doing something, or there's a still shot of something that doesn't make any sense. It's like, who edited this movie? So anyway, the the narrator kicks in uh, when she when she falls to the witch. That at that moment, the fake character that she made up, the man version of Mulan, is dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now it is Mulan, and she's embracing her truth. I really like that part. That's where the that's where the movie started to kick in for me. And I was like, okay, this third act is is good, and we're actually having some great moments here. I uh, should have said that in the normal review, but, you know. Yeah, I that's to... when she starts riding the horse. She gets on top, does like two backflips, and then starts. <laughs> well, I heard around. you laugh and, and yeah. I was like, come that. on. Yeah, this is yeah. so stupid. I was like, what? I was like, okay, this is a serious moment. It's going to be fucking badass. Now this is Mulan, but then she's over They here wanted to do Crouching that, Tiger, and Hidden Dragon, yeah. 300, like, uh, slow mo stuff. It's a little, Didn't it's work a little for much. you. Worked all right for me. But. Uh, you? Did it work for you? No. <laughs> So she kicks some fucking ass and, uh, you know, but she goes back to the camp sort of disgraced. uh, And they're like, you know, get out of here. You're a woman. You're a woman. Mm -hmm. Even though you saved our lives. Even though you saved us, you're expelled. And she's like, I'd rather die than be expelled. Uh, I'd rather take execution. So you come back here again. Show your face here and we'll do it. But then she did and they didn't do it. Right. In fact, they let her <laughs> lead the army. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to kill you. And then 30 seconds later, he's like, never mind. You're leading us now. Because exactly. like, she what? tells them that, you know, the, the surprise ambush attack she learns from the witch. And eventually the witch character, uh, you know, is on the throne where Mulan runs to try to save the emperor. She realizes it's already too late. The emperor is in a different location. She's never going to find him. But the witch leads her to the, uh, you know, villain because he symp- she sympathizes with her. She's in a similar situation, whereas she went the bath path bad path and Milan went the noble path and then right at that moment, uh, you know, she flies over to the villain to lead Mulan, and the villain realizes this. He's like, you, you betrayed me, and you thought he was going to kill her with an arrow, fires the arrow at Mulan, and that leads the... Because I, I was like, how the hell are you going to wrap up this witch's storyline? Is that going to be with Mulan too? Mm. And she flies off. She's like, fuck you, men. You know, we'll fight later or something. I'll fight her, Mulan later. No, she saves Mulan's life by flying as the eagle in front of the arrow, saving her. Though Mulan has chi... Mulan could have just done 15 flips and kicked the arrow back at him or, or the just witch dodged the seen. arrow. She sh- she's shown to be able to dodge arrows 15 times yeah. in the past, but no, the e- the witch kills herself or sacrifices herself. The witch can turn Mulan. into hundreds of birds that all have mass and because they're like slamming into the... She can just turn herself and she's like, well, I'll let one of those birds get hit by yeah. that arrow or I'll use my rope magic and or it, I'll use any of this other magic. And it just felt so controlled. It's to have her die and wrap up in that way yeah. it's like okay if you're gonna put the witch character do something with her and yeah. they just used her as a way to mirror what Mulan was doing and don't be come this become this but it would have been more interesting if you let her live or something like that. Or just but, have her die in a better way. It's mm-hmm. like we know you can stop one arrow. Yeah, or a more heroic sacrifice. Yeah, that would have yeah, been nice. That would have been awesome. Yeah. Or she fights the fucking guy herself. <laughs> But they um, mess it up. They mess it up. Mm, and and then Mulan basically, like we said, saves the emperor um, by cutting him down while simultaneously fighting. Uh, we never talked about Mowgli. That's right. Yeah. He was the, uh, the villain that was the previous, uh, in the previous live action Disney film. Was it by Disney? I don't know. I don't know. It was by mm. But it was, you know, he was Mowgli. <laughs> the Jungle Book. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> so they fight. And she basically uses her chi to against him, not not to brutally murder him, but to just basically let him kill himself again, kind of thing. But like she does murder him later. 
interesting. Yeah, she kicks an arrow. She kicks an arrow. Because that's what she was doing. She the entire the entire time she's been kicking stuff. So everything is one. Uh, she goes to the emperor's um, chamber and he says, "Please become one of my uh, personal guard officers." And she says, "No, uh, I'm not true to myself right now. I need to go apologize to my father and uh, you know seek forgiveness from him." And they said, "Okay, go ahead." Mm-hmm. And she goes back to her home. Her father's super proud of her. She's like crying because she lost her father's sword was destroyed, and that was a a uh, memento of his or, you know, a sign of his previous uh, yeah. prowess and war, war hero story. Um, and he said, you know, it's not important. My daughter is most important. And again, another touching scene. That's a great mm-hmm. actor. Her father is a great actor. Mm-hmm. He's one of the better parts of the film. And uh, just then the, the, the officers ride back in and, and say, well, if you're here to punish my daughter, you know, go, you're going through me. So they're not there. I mean, they would have done that. They would have cut her head off already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, he just says it. And uh, there's no, nope, we're presenting her a gift. And they give her a new sword with the three uh, tenants with a new one, uh, you know, honoring your it's family. It's all about and family. Family. <laughs> And then they got, all got no, bread right. six and everything was Dude, good. Happily Joe ever Diesel. after. How are we bringing this back to Fast and Furious Cross? They're, they're both in time. Oh, is said. this not the second time you've done that, Joe? He said it's about family. Joe, about family. Joe loves that do- Joe Diesel character. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and it uh, ends happily ever after. She doesn't end up with a love interest, if you're wondering. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She, uh, she kind of rides off. She's like, all right. And she's like, okay. And it's like, I see you around. It's like, let's go. She rides off. So. Uh, yeah. And then at the very end, you see this small little dragon mushu do this little flame thing. Yeah, but it wasn't. No, that would have been no, awesome, no. but it's not in there. No. <laughs> I, I'm kind of disappointed about, uh, well, for many reasons about this whole you know, <laughs> worldwide pandemic thing. But I really hope that someone at Disney, if this movie doesn't do well, they're like, no, nah, it didn't do well because of the pandemic. It did, it's not it didn't they have it the did, perfect excuse. Yeah, it's like no 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 perfect it, excuse. It's not the bad writing and the fact that characters were unlikable and the story was bad and everything There's was no jokes and, and like no every, heart. everything about this movie was bad. It's not any of those things. It's the pandemic. We should do another one. Now we should do a live action Hercules. And then we'll do a live no. action like what's the next one that they're gonna do? No. I don't know Stop I don't remember it. any after that. But they they're gonna do it. Stop. Yeah, stop it. And then the <laughs> next era ideas. is live action versions of all the terrible to straight to VHS or straight Little to Mermaid DVD 3. Uh, sequels that they did. No, that at that point they'll stop. At some you point they have point to stop, stop it. Did you, did you? At some point they have to stop it, Alex. They're going to run out of classics to redo. And they're going to have to do some new ones. And I'm Don't looking in 3D. forward to... You just do them in 3D? No. 3D is fucking dead. I helped kill it, and I don't want it to come nah, back. James Cameron's out there somewhere. You fuck. He's out there. Don't you do it, James. No. James Cameron. Anyway, 3D Hercules. That's it. Guys, no our music. first and last uh, Disney screen <laughs> yeah. review. Three out of ten. Uh, it just, this one didn't work. And it sucks because I do want to come out and be like, yeah, this is great. Go out and see yeah. it. It's a cool story. No. It's, um, the Mulan story is great. Unfortunately, not this one. Mm-mm. Not this one. No. Not do you think we enjoy one. watching bad movies? Maybe, you do. Maybe. But this is like different bad. It's I a like different bad, kind bad. of bad. bad. Yeah, where they're trying to be bad, kind yes. of. Like, this is trying <laughs> to be good. All right, that's it for us. We did a little longer here for you just to hammer home why it's not worth $45, okay? <laughs> $30. Yeah, just hang out with your family. Yeah. Family. family. <laughs> See you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>